Hello, Charlie. Hi, Jack. How are you? Fine. What about you? I'm good. Jack, today we have an English grammar class. Yeah, I know. Why, Jack? You are not happy with the class? No, 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 not like that. Then, what's the reason? Jack, I'm good. Sorry, Charlie, I'm getting confused on the sentence. Confused? For what? Do you know previous class our teacher taught us an important class of grammar? Yeah, that is sentence. Subject, predicate, and the object. She taught us the differences on that. Yeah. I agree what you are saying. I understood the concept of a sentence. Then why, Jack? Your tone is different. Yeah, because I wanna ask my teacher one doubt. What's that, Jack? I want a clear information about what will be the complete sentence. Oh, don't worry. Today our teacher will clear a doubt with examples. I hope so. So, come, let's ask our teacher. Yep. So, come Jack, we'll go to the class. Okay, come let's move. Hello students. Hello ma'am. Hello ma'am. So, how's your classes everything going on? Awesome. Good. So, yesterday we have learned about a grammar Right, that is sentence. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm having a doubt. Yes, Jack, tell me. Ma'am, can you please explain me about the complete sentence? Oh, that's great, Jack. Today, I'm going to explain you all about the complete sentence. Hooray! Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. So, We'll start this class with lot of examples, pictures, everything. So, are you ready, students? Yeah. Sentences are there. Correct. There are four types of sentences. And which are they? Anyone? Good. So, they are A, I, E, I. That is assertive or declarative. I interrogative. E exclamatory sentence. And last, I interrogative sentences. Okay, so the structure of the sentence we had learned previously. The structure of the sentence will follow. It starts from a subject, verb, sorry, subject, predicate, and object. Okay, the sentence ends with a question mark. That is, which type of sentence? Good, you are correct. And that sentence ends with the exclamatory? Correct. That is exclamatory sentence. So like that, here, we are going to learn today the complete sentence. So what is complete sentence? So let's have a look over here. Okay. So a complete sentence always contains a verb. What's the meaning of verb? Verb. Dance. Talk. What I'm doing? I'm talking. I'm explaining. So, verb, doing act, doing verb, okay, action. Express a complete idea and make sense standing alone. So, the complete sentence is a sentence that always contains what? Verb, V-E-R-B, -E that always contains verb, okay. Express a complete idea. And it stands alone. It stands alone in the sense that particular sentence doesn't want any type of help or the, that sentence don't need any type of extra verbs. 
if the sentence has a verb and complete structure of the sentence that is a complete sentence okay so here i have mentioned over here a sentence forms a complete thought no doubt what about the fragment what's the meaning of fragment here the fragment in the sense the fragment does not form a complete thought does not form a complete thought so here there are a lot of fragments in your exam papers it will come i you have to find out find out either it's a fragment or a complete sentence so fragment in the in the sense the particular sentence doesn't follow the structure of the sentence and that sentence doesn't have a verb or anything that you thought okay in this sentence there is a small mistake what's that in that end of the sentence there is no question mark full stop whatever it is so you have to learn that so i hope this is clear to you sentence and fragment good so here i made subject so you can think this picture as a subject okay what is a subject everyone knows subject like who or what the sentence is about okay the head of the sentence is a subject okay here this box so here this box is a predicate so i use this box as a predicate and this as an as a subject good so now let's move to the subject what is a subject so let's see the examples by seeing the examples you can easily remember the things so here you can see the girl a little girl her name is anderson here fisherman now so here you can see the examples of over here you can see a baby a child a girl and a fisherman there are persons right and here place so here anderson okay and then martha and over here is fisherman okay that's a person okay place what is a place place coffee shop is a place circus is a place beach is a place next thing okay so let's have a look on a thing sun is a thing cake is a thing pencil is a Thing. it is a sun it is a pen we won't mention he is a pen or he is a pencil he is a cake no it is for the things we have we are using what it okay so this is clear to you good now let's learn about a complete sentence with briefly okay so structure of a sentence let's have a look over here sentence always begin with a capital letter okay it always starts with a capital letter and end in either a full stop or either a full stop exclamation or question mark expresses a complete idea and makes sense standing alone so this is a structure so i want you to keep this in your mind what will be the structure so in the sentence the sentence will starts with a capital letter and it ends with what either a full stop exclamation or question mark and it has a capacity to stand alone okay now important points let's have a look on the important points of a complete sentence so first how we have to find a complete sentence which is we how can you able to find out right so that's very tricky so here you can see here so i mentioned the three characteristics so that it will be easy the first it begins with the capital letter clear next in addition it includes an end mark either a period question mark or exclamation point okay 
next most importantly the complete sentence must contains at least one main clause okay one main clause what's the meaning of clause we'll discuss that as well next each main clause contains an independent subject and verb expresses a complete thought so this is a complete characteristics of a sentence it ends sorry it starts with a capital letter and also it includes an end mark either period full stop question mark exclamation and then most importantly the complete sentence must contains at least one main clause main clause independent clause so then an independent clause subject a verb and express a complete thought when there is an independent clause with a verb and with a full stop that and with the final you can able to justify okay this is a complete sentence i can tick that it's a complete sentence not a fragment okay so clear now let's learn about the class so you learn about the complete sentence okay you got the point and in that i had discussed about the class what is class don't worry so a class is a group of words okay a class is a group of words with a subject and verb okay yeah? so the class is a group of words with which has a subject and verb that kind of clause okay just a second okay so that kind of clause is handy when talking about grammar handy it's easy to remember another kind of clause is a provision or stipulation in a legal contract okay so here i don't want you to i don't want you he you can feel a difficulty while reading it so that's the reason i made it easy for you so that it will be easy to understand okay so every main clause will follow this pattern subject plus verb is equal to complete thought complete sentence keep this in your mind if there is a subject plus verb at end of the sentence there is a full stop and you can see okay so this is a complete sentence every main clause will follow okay here are some examples you so that it will be easy to you as well lazy students wine so sub students is a subject wine is a verb so lazy students wine then lazy you can see a lazy students wine students is a subject wine is a verb lazy is an adjective for the students how the students are okay adverb to the students how the students are okay next cola spilled over the glass and splashed onto the counter so here cola is a subject spilled splashed is a verb my dog loves pizza crust dog is a subject loves is a verb okay the important point to remember is that every sentence must have at least one main clause otherwise you have a fragment a major error okay so every sentence must have a clause okay independent clause without a main clause that sentence won't be a complete sentence that sentence will be a fragment i hope that is clear to you okay then let's have a look on the subordinate clause okay so subordinate clause what is subordinate clauses a subordinate clause will follow this pattern subordinate conjunction plus subject plus verb is equal to incomplete thought so just have a look with examples you can able to find it 
very easy okay whenever lazy student why okay what's that after that what happened he doesn't have any idea after that whenever lazy lazy students why okay after that if i say something whenever i speak that's it i didn't can i am not continuing the sentences and you will feel like ma'am said something and she is not completing the sentence and how can i able to know ki okay that's the main idea of the what she thought but she doesn't she doesn't said anything so that these are incomplete sentence that is a subordinate clause whenever is a subordinate conjunction so i hope you know about the conjunctions okay good if you know that's good if you doesn't know feel free to say me okay i'm ready to do a video on that as well why i am making because you are in a higher level it's a high time to learn everything so that's the reason i am making back to back grammar classes and making you to realize it's easy to understand okay good so whenever is a subordinate conjunction student is a subject wine is a verb after that nothing is there so if there isn't some it starts with a subordinate conjunction doesn't giving a proper idea complete thought as cola spilled here you can see as cola spilled over the glass and splashed onto the counter okay as subordinate conjunction cola subject spilled splashed is a verb okay let's see an important point okay after this i am going to end this video and i am need you to i need you to work on that so that it will be easy to you as well so when i make the video a lot of students replied me and they asked me the doubts and i am very very happy for explaining them they asked me about the sentence they ask ma'am is this a correct way of sentences is this a correct way that's good if you are telling wrong don't worry just ask me i am going to give you answer for everything what according to my subject i am going to tell you everything okay so don't get to worry about that you can feel free to ask about the subject okay good so the important point you have to remember over here the important point to remember about subordinate clause is that they can never stand alone as complete sentence okay keep that in your mind a subordinate clause they will never stand alone to complete to complete thought you must attach each subordinate clause to a main clause before the subordinate clause what main clause should be there a subordinate clause single it own shows a complete thought to the reader okay so this is the end of the video why because i am making a short videos so that it will be easy to you to understand and you can read it well and you can learn new new things okay so this is all about the subordinate conjunctions and sorry subordinate conjunction clauses and complete sentence complete sentence it's easy only if you are aware with the clauses you have to know what is a clause and how many types of clauses are there how i have how can how i can able to find out either it's an independent clause subordinate clause or how how can i able to know so the main thing is you have to learn about the clauses okay and then conjunctions articles everything will be there in a sentence a complete sentence won't be a subject plus verb plus object no a complete sentence will be involve a subject auxiliary verbs conjunction okay conjunction and then at the end of the sentence how it's conveying either it's a full complete sentence or it's only just giving a this so that i can't able to find out it's a complete sentence okay so go through that so yeah this is the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed this video and 
I want my students to learn and to be perfect in their life. Okay, dears? So, till then, take care and respect your parents. Thank you. Bye-bye.